January 19, Sunday, Feast of the Santo Nino. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that our angels in heaven always looked upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Do not despise one of these little ones. Jesus tells his disciples not to despise children. They are indispensable exemplars on how to enter the kingdom of heaven. Children symbolize humility. They are not arrogant and pretentious. They give joy. The adult disciples who behave like children are the greatest in God's kingdom. The disciples must go down their level in order to be the greatest. In fact, in those days, it was desirable for couples to star many children, not just one or two, but a dozen. Children were considered the wealth of the family. In our times, children are often despised. Many couples do not like to have children. They do not regard parenthood as their vocation. They see themselves more as employees of corporation whose priority is to earn money. Children are a nuisance to them and they are expensive to support. In school, children are vulnerable, oftentimes bullied by irate teachers or classmates or parents of the other children. They have nowhere to go, especially when their parents do not pay attention to them. They get depressed very early. They can also become victims of child or organ trafficking. If Isaiah were alive today, he would consider all that's negative attitudes and behaviors toward children as walking in darkness and living in the land of gloom. Thank God, Jesus commands us not to despise any of the little ones. They have a big role in bringing us to the kingdom of heaven. The call of Jesus to respect children is still valid today. Some parents should take care of their children, even if they are PWDs. They are the greatest in the kingdom, according to Jesus, when they welcome them with love and affection. They make necessary sacrifices to soften their hardships. Paul adds that the Gentiles are co-heirs and members of the same body, the church, and co-partners in the promises of Christ. We presume that their kids are not excluded. Do you love children? Happy are you if you do not despise them.